Hey guys, Angela here. Today we have a very experimental type of video. Um, granted, this is not the first of its kind. Um, it's a question that I've always wondered. And finally someone made a YouTube video out of it. And then I sought to do the same. Ever wondered, can you make cookies out of the cookie dough found in a pint of cookie dough ice cream? One of the many wonders of the world. Someone whom I've followed for a very long time, Emmy Made in Japan. I will put her links down below, especially to the original video. She is such a charming individual. Today, um, I bought four pints of cookie dough ice cream. A variety, actually. Um, on this side, we have the classic Ben and Jerry's Baskin Robbins ice cream, and for you mature individuals, Hagen Dazs. Okay, let's be real. Hagen Dazs. I mean, out of the out of the three brands here, Hagen Dazs is seen as more of the mature ice cream. Emmy strictly looked like she focused more on the Ben and Jerry side, so we're gonna bake those so you, my viewers can see if our, our other brands cookie dough consistent with their competitors. So we are gonna test out which brand of cookie dough ice cream makes the best cookie. And I'm going to put a disclaimer out now. I am not gonna waste ice cream. Before all you people out there saying she's wasting food, dislike, dislike. I'm gonna literally have a bowl right here next to me where all the extra ice cream's gonna go. I'm gonna re-put it back in the pines, put it in the freezer and eat it whenever I want, okay? I'm gonna start with the Ben and Jerry's ice cream. So here we have the classic cookie dough ice cream that they have. And then here they actually have a brand new thing where there, it's like there's a core center. So inside the middle of the pine, a huge thing of cookie dough. So go, let's go ahead and open these and extract the product. Shall we? Let's excavate. Let's dig into the core one because this one seems like it would have more of an easier way to get to the cookie dough. What stays consistent within all the cookie dough brands is that it has a vanilla base, chocolate chips, and then cookie dough. In this case, it looks like the cookie dough is centered in one spot. So I think the easiest way for me to do this it's just to see, it looks like a lot of the cookie dough is right here. So this is all the cookie dough that was in that pint of ice cream. Not much. This, this if you think about it, if you roll it up in a ball and bake it, this would be equivalent to just one cookie. So yeah, so we're just gonna set this aside this one seems like it's gonna be harder to excavate because unlike the other one, there was like a huge core in it. So this one, there's gonna be little pieces of cookie dough. So I have to be extra careful in digging them out. So um, luckily the ice cream is nice and soft, so it's easier for me to pull out the pieces. So I'm just gonna do what I did the last time. So this is the amount of cookie dough that is in a Ben and Jerry's cookie dough um, ice cream. There are 24 pieces in a Ben and Jerry's uh, pint of ice cream of cookie dough ice cream. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put these in the freezer so that they could re-solidify because they are getting a little soft. So on to the next brand. Next, Baskin Robbins. And this one feels really soft because it's been sitting out longer than the rest. Oh yeah, that's gonna be easy to excavate. Look at that, ugh. For the Baskin Robbins ice cream, it looks like it's 18 and a half. Um, quite lower than the Ben and & Jerry's. And they look a little smaller as well. That's quite interesting. All right, our last one, haagen -Dazs. Also equally as soft. And mind you, out of all the brands, haagen -Dazs is the only one with a extra protective seal. You know? 
And I'll be honest, I do prefer haagen ice cream. I feel like their ice cream just tastes a little better. All right, so again, much easier to op open this one up. <clears throat> and here is our haagen results. There are 36 pieces of cookie dough. So haagen really does have the not only quality, but quantity out of the four cookie dough. Um, out of the brands of cookie dough that I have picked. So that is amazing. I'm gonna put these in the freezer and then we're gonna bake these up and we're gonna see how they turn out. All right, so we have our samples and I wanted to point out something about the Ben and Jerry's one. This is the first one we extracted and this is the second one. There are two considerable big differences between the two. You can see this one has a much more deeper complexion than this one and also this one started to melt in the refrigerator so i had to stick it to, into the freezer now it's like this big like super soft blob i'm beginning to think they make this cookie dough the core cookie dough thing whatever it's called differently than their other cookie dough to make it fair between the two um i'm not gonna cook as much as you want me to cook each individual piece separately, I don't think that gives this cookie dough a fighting chance. I am going to bake every cookie at least the size of our core cookie so that they're all an even size. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a bunch of the cookie dough and I'm just gonna form it into a, like a bigger ball so that every one is one size and they all have a fighting chance on becoming a beautiful cookie. Using the heat of the palm of our hand to make them into one big blob. And this sound, do you hear that? I don't like it, okay. All right, so this one's our Baskin Robbins. These two are haagen -Dazs. These two are Ben and Jerry's regular cookie dough ice cream. And this abomination is that core. And look, it's like melting as if this itself is not made like regular cookie dough. Like these are holding their shapes, but this one isn't. All right, they're in the oven. I'm baking them in a universal temperature of 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, so the cookies are out and Core, what have you done? And then these are the two Ben and Jerry's. This is Baskin Robbins. And wow, look at these golden brown and delicious haagen -Dazs. So I'm gonna let these cool down, let them firm up, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a taste test. The cookies are, are slightly cool enough for us to consume. We are gonna go in the order of which we've extracted the cookie dough. Starting off with our core cookie. And as I am holding this cookie, it is literally about to crumble upon me. Like it is crispy. There are there is like no binder in this cookie. Now you're probably wondering what does cookie dough consist of? Cookie dough consists of butter, sugars, eggs, vanilla, and flour. Wait, cookie dough? I can't eat raw cookie dough because there's raw eggs in there. But they actually started using pasteurized eggs. Um, eggs are important in cookie dough because it create it's a binder ingredient. So when you bake it, all of the ingredients in that bowl holds together. So it seems that companies are actually cooking their eggs first and then putting it in the raw cookie dough so that it's not harmful for you to eat. Um, I'm beginning to think our core cookie does not contain any pasteurized eggs. It seems to maybe only have flour, sugar, and butter. So let's give it a try. Yeah, it's like a powdered mess in my mouth. Wow, that crumbled so fast. It did not have a chance for me to really chew on it. Flavor-wise, it tastes like a very caramelized cookie. Texture-wise, very unpleasant. Let's try the regular Ben and Jerry's cookie dough. As you can see, the Ben and Jerry's cookie dough created a wonderful looking cookie. Kind of light brown on the outside, dark brown on the back. It's still a little chewy, wow. 
Now for sure the Ben and Jerry's cookie dough contains pasteurized eggs in it. Let's give this a try, shall we? I have a lot of thoughts. The exterior texture is nice and crunchy, not too crisp. It's nice and crunchy. And as you chew it, it's very chewy, almost like a mochi-like consistency. Wow, but flavor, not all re really there. And you kind of have like this flowery taste, which is, I mean, I can't blame, but overall, solid cookie. I, I'm beginning to think I cook these a little longer than I'm supposed to. This is the Baskin Robbins version. Also kind of same chewy snap, crispy exterior. This one has more of a, more of like a cake smell versus the Ben and Jerry's. Really smells like a chocolate chip cookie. So. Not much flavor there. It's more aromatic than flavor. And you also get that same kind of sandy, flowery aftertaste to it. Lastly but not least, our haagen cookie. And to be fair, I did cook these ones a little longer, so it looks like each of them kind of had their own baking time. This one has more of a vanilla caramel smell to it. Granted, the caramel smell might be coming from the fact that I cooked it a little too long, but hey, let's give it a try. Not really strong vanilla flavor to it, but it doesn't really feel like a chocolate chip cookie. Reason being, it looks like a cookie, but look at the Ben and Jerry's one. There's more chocolate chips in the actual cookie part than this. And the reason being that I feel like the haagen dough doesn't have a lot of chocolate chips is because when I was excavating the haagen ice cream, you could see there was significantly more loose chocolate chips rather than it being in the actual dough. So maybe that's why this one doesn't really have a chocolate chip cookie flavor rather than the Ben and Jerry's. Not only has loose chocolate chips throughout the ice cream, it also has chocolate chips in the dough, making Ben and Jerry's truly superior cookie out of the other brands. If you're trying to pick what kind of cookie dough ice cream you're trying to get, I still suggest getting the haagen ice cream. Not only is there more loose dough scattered in the pint, but the amount of chocolate chips scattered and loose in the pint makes up for the fact that there's no chocolate chips in the dough itself. Um, the flavor of the ice cream in the haagen is much more richer than the Ben and Jerry's version, but the Ben and Jerry's cookie dough makes a solid chocolate chip cookie somehow. All right, well that's today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and like to this video if you like chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream like me, or well just me. I'll catch you guys later to the next video. Take care. Bye.